The number of new cases in Hawaii has remained below 100 for the past three days. This as the state's pre-test travel program gets ready to begin. But will Hawaii be ready? Lieutenant Governor Josh Green joins us now to talk more about that. Good morning to you again, Lieutenant Governor. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Let's get to the numbers first. They've remained steady below 100 for the past three days. Should that change, though, because restrictions kind of eased up last week? Will we see a ramp up again? I, I hope not, because I think people have been more uh, thoughtful about wearing masks and socially distancing. Each month, people have learned and done better at it. So I think people are very clear in their minds that social distancing and not gathering with, with people that are outside of their bubbles, they've been cognizant that that works. So I'm hopeful it will continue. It has been a very good trend. Our average has been under 100 for the last 10 days also. And also, I would mention that our hospital numbers are at 147 in the hospital. That's down 55% from our peak. So things have been trending down, trending the right way, which is excellent. But please, everyone, don't let your guard down. Keep wearing masks because we have some big things on the horizon, like travel and schools. Speaking of travel, that pretest program is set to begin in, in two weeks. You announced a bunch of partners previously. We're talking about CVS, Kaiser Permanente, Hawaiian, United Airlines. What about the possibility of American Airlines and now Alaska being partners? Well, I don't know where you get your info, but you have pretty good info, I have to say. Yes, American Airlines is a confirmed partner now, which is excellent. And I'll leave it to Alaskan to be, to be the one to give details about what they're doing, but they're working very hard also to make sure that travelers can come to Hawaii safely. So I have over 10 major partners, as you mentioned now, national partners, Kaiser, CBS, Walgreens, Quest, Vault, APS, some of these are mail-ins, Hawaiian, United, American, and some of these others that are coming on now. So we're trying to make it as safe as possible and simple as possible to get the pretest within 72 hours of departure so that we're safe here. So that's in two weeks. Hawaii will be ready? Hawaii will be ready. It's not going to be without some little bumps. There's no question. But it will be safety first. There will be some processing uh, challenges because we're taking in a lot of data from people so that we know where they are, where they're staying. We want to really be able to try to help the mayors because they're a little nervous about people coming into the, into the islands again. It's, it is a big lift to have a global public health project for our little state, but we're doing it. And though it won't be a ton of people, I'm expecting somewhere between six and 7,000 travelers a day when we hit an equilibrium, we'll be able to keep the numbers very small of anyone who would have COVID. And I even have a couple surprises I'll unveil in about 10 days about some extra testing to make it even safer. Now, you had mentioned the county mayors and their concerns. They seem to be concerned with inter-island travel as well. They say that they don't want to change anything until they can see testing capacity drastically increased. What are your thoughts on that? Well, there's some merit there, right? The, uh, the capacity to test has always been modest. But look at the numbers, though. We've only been testing about 1,500 to 1,800 tests total a day. That's all the desired testing that we've had uh, for the last month, yet we can do 4,000 tests a day comfortably. We're going to ramp up to over 13,000 tests a day internally, but I'm going to be using that with the Department of Health's blessing to test higher risk uh, individuals and people who are front facing a lot of potential COVID, like teachers. We want to support our teachers. We want to support our first responders and people who work in nursing homes and test them more regularly. That's where a lot of those tests will go. But I don't think we can live in a place of fear. And I don't think we can function from a place of fear that there will be spread of COVID. There's going to be some COVID around for a while. Until we get a vaccination, we're not going to be super safe. But we can, like countries all across the world, Europe, Asia, we can, if we trace and test well, which we've been doing much better, we can keep the lid on. And I think that we owe it to our people to do everything we can to bring their lives back to uh, normal. All right. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor, for joining us and for that update on the pretest travel program. Lieutenant Governor will be joining us in just a moment.